come to you. Yeah, it's like, come on up here. Come on, come on. Come on, who are you? Come on. What's your name? What's your question for Lala and Penelope? What roadie are you a band for? <laughs> See, I did it the opposite to imply he was large. Would you really work for Kiss? No. That's my question, though. I know a few years ago you uh, were on the roads for Gene Simmons. Yeah, that was awesome. How, how did he react? And was he like a good you Can know, I tell you? sport about it? Thanks for asking. Are you a big Kiss fan? Huge. Huge. Dude, let me tell you something. My best Gene Simmons joke, which I loved. Remember Danny Partridge was on there? I said, hey, don't make fun of Danny Partridge. He's the only one here who was in a good band. Because you know how much Kiss fucking sucks. But no offense. <laughs> You understand, I was joking. This Gene Simmons, best sport on the planet. He's, okay, him, Donald Trump, and Flavor Flav were my absolute favorite roasts of all time. Now, first of all, Gene Simmons, best sport ever, because look at that fucking Planet of the Apes hairstyle. I mean, he looks like freaking Dr. Zayas. I don't know what the fuck is going on with him. But this Flavor Flav too, and I think what they have in common is Flavor Flav, Trump, and uh, Gene Simmons, <laughs> they are a font of endless material. There's so much about them that's wrong with them that they recognize is fucked up, that they laugh at everything you say, and they just love hearing their name out loud. I honestly think at the Gene Simmons roast, all Gene heard was, whoa, 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 Gene Simmons. Like, it was like he heard Charlie Brown's teacher and nothing else. Wah, 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 Gene Simmons. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. And Trump, too. I gotta tell you, for as fucked up as Trump can be, let me tell you about him. He can take a joke, especially about that fucking head of his. Because I got to study that hair. Two roasts. 16 weeks in the boardroom, I still got no fucking idea if what's up there is alive, if it's dead, if it's orange cotton candy, or a goddamn ferret wrapped around with the tail. Oh my god, she'll love this. You want to hear my most fucked up Donald Trump joke? And remember, you're the crowd that doesn't get offended, so don't give me shit on this. Okay. I said, Donald Trump has put up more worthless hotels than an autistic child playing Monopoly. <laughs> and by the way, out there, if you have an autistic kid, don't fucking get angry with me. It's your own fault because you smoked and drank during that pregnancy. <laughs> so look in the mirror, cunts. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.